Hi, I'm Mr. Biotech of SkinYourScreen.com, and today I've got a tutorial on how to make reflections like these in Photoshop CS3. These are a bunch of shapes that I made using vector layers. I'm going to pick on this cube for the time being using my Move tool. So this cube is actually made up of a bunch of different vector layers, way too many in fact, and then a reflection that I manually made using a filter. I know, I'm, I've been accused of not using enough filters. So let's... Uh, Let's take the, the basic cube shape. I'm going to click and drag it to the new layer button so that we have an exact uh, copy of all those layers and drag it beneath the existing ones. And if you hit Command E or Control E on a PC, you end up making a merged group of those. So that's what the merge looks like. I'm going to flip it vertically by using a transform. Transform, flip vertical. And now I'm going to filter it using a motion blur, which you can find under the blur section. It's about two-thirds down the motion blur. I'm going to set it for about 90 degrees at a distance of 20 pixels. 10 to 30 should work just fine. And now if we show our cube, it's getting there. I'm going to use the move tool to kind of jiggle our, our reflection layer down a little bit. And then uh, I'm going to drop the opacity to about 50% on this guy and hit enter. So it's looking pretty good. There's still a little bit of fuzzing around this though and it might not react well with other shapes that would be behind it. It's still pretty opaque. So what I'm going to do is open up this group and select all the layers such that uh, I have a selection the exact size of the entire cube itself and I'm going to select my cube copy, the reflection layer, and hit delete to erase everything on it. Now if I use my eraser I can kind of clean up these little ghost edges and so I have a layer that just has pure reflection. Show my cube. This is Mr. Biotech with another SkinYourScreen.com tutorial.